Hello books, how is everybody? I hope everybody's keeping well. So today we are going to look at the person on your mind. We will look at the current energy and we will see um, if it's resonating with you and if it resonates with you we will look at this person's uh, current thoughts about you, their current feelings for you um, and then their next likely actions towards you. So we have a uh, jealous coming out with an eyeball on that card. So uh, someone could be watching and um, someone could be uh, feeling feelings of jealousy at this time. Yeah, look, trigger just came out. Emotional, provoked, overthinking. Mm. Spying. Oh my God, look at this. Look at this. So some of you are just doing your own thing, living your best life, but you've got someone watching you who's very triggered by what they are seeing. Um, What can you do? You're fabulous, what can you do? That's not your problem, is it? <laughs> this is interesting though. Let's see. Sad. And fence sitter. Okay, so this could be someone here who um, had some sort of choice or decision at some point to make, um, but they didn't. You know, this person could have dragged something um, or is just re remaining some sort of like neutral state at this time. So if there's like an issue between you and this person, this person is sad. Um, and regret is at the bottom of the deck with forgiveness here as well. So maybe this person actually did uh, make an incorrect decision here. Right, so person that is on your mind, you're heavy on theirs, but they seem to be getting super triggered by something that you're doing. Twin flame, so some of you feel like you are dealing with a twin flame here. Truth, make a move. Watching again is coming out with fresh start. Oh, okay, I see what's going on here. Solution unanswered. Some of you uh, messaged this person and they did not answer or uh, they messaged you and you left them on red. Uh, this person here is uh, spying. They're seeing something, right? And it's like really not making them happy. So for some of you, maybe you have like a new friend or something on Facebook and they've noticed and they're like, what's that? Uh, for others of you, um, you know, you could be uploading like photos and different things and uh, they're seeing it and they're getting triggered by it, but they can't help it. They're still watching. They're, they're possibly doing this repetitively. Um, they're on the fence here and it's being clarified by fresh start. Although, something inside this person is telling them to make some sort of move towards you so let's see they do want some sort of reconciliation here but they seem to be like they're sitting on the fence and it could be because of something that they're seeing online life is so dull without you we belong together I seen you but you didn't see me <laughs> I wish I could go back I am not feeling confident. Okay, so someone that seems to have done you wrong in some sort of way um, is watching you. Magician. Three of Cups. Four of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune. And the Queen of Swords. For me, this looks like uh, an issue over what it was that you were both wanting to manifest. So there could have been a moment in time in the past here where you guys were maybe not seeing eye to eye or you felt there was a certain resistance um, in terms of moving the relationship to the next level with this person. Um, because it looks like you, you guys did get on really well. Um, now, so far, um, this could also be, I guess, referring to uh, like some sort of friendship. It could be anyone, actually. There could be this could be because I'm not getting anything that's overly passionate. Although, of course, it can be a romantic connection. I'm just seeing someone here that's watching you, that's getting triggered. Uh, there's obviously a no contact between you both, uh, and this person's trying to decide whether to move forward and, and like contact you. I think this person missed missed the train, <laughs> missed the boat <laughs> on something here, um, and now they may be feeling like it is too late. But they are still holding on to you, but they're still holding back. So this person's just sitting just sitting on this energy. Five of Wands, Knight of Cups. So this is this conflict, internal conflict about whether to take some action here. So, right, I'm gonna lift these and then we will look at this person's thoughts. One second. Oh, okay, I'm gonna use this deck. So this person that's on your mind is wanting to talk and wanting to take action, but um, I think there's like, there's like an energy of being too late or something. So let's see. And there's regret. Eight of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. 
Knight of Swords. Six of Wands. Oh, God. There's something kind of sad about this person's energy, I have to say. Um, because I'm looking at their thoughts and stuff, and their thoughts all seem to be around like just doing it, you know, um, not overthinking it, and just like doing it, sending that message, or um, some of you there could be like a gym connection here. Uh, some some of you there's like um, like something to do with like art or very artistic. Um, there could be a same sex uh, relationship here as well. Uh, but this person feels like just um, coming towards you, like without overthinking it. Um, I think it's more like it kind of looks a wee bit like fantasy. I am reading thoughts, so I guess that makes sense. But uh, in the meantime, I think this person has been just like focusing on themselves and uh, doing the wrong things, distracting them themselves as best as they are able to. King of Swords. This person just seems kind of sad. Ace of Wands. Sorry, Ten of Wands, Ace of Wands. Uh, I said Ace of Wands because I was looking at the Ace of Wands, uh, but that Ten actually, you know, breaks into an Ace. So it's like again putting down this heavy burden, this this feeling, this uh, overthinking, and uh, just like doing it. Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords, sending that message. Um, although I do, look, you're even showing us X's here on the reading <laughs> with this Ten of Wands in between you and the Ace of Wands above it. So like, see between your two cards, right? Here's your person, here's you. Um, there's this like, like, uh, it just needs to like break and then like this passion you, beginning can start. Um, so again, it's gonna depend on your situation. If this is romantic, this will be passion, you know, but um, if this is like a friend or something, this could be you guys uh, re-energizing your connection. This person has it all kind of like going on in their mind because they think about uh, all the issues and stuff and then they think about um, how maybe they're too late and then they think about uh, how you would react if uh, they sent you a certain message and then they think about um, if it went well <laughs> and then they get like they, they kind of indulge in that for a while and then they you know get back in their head and think about what if it didn't go well and you know all of that king of swords over here overthinking something but wishing to be that person that could just not <laughs> funny yeah look knight of swords in reverse i just said that that is so impulsive that energy is so impulsive um even that energy is impulsive but when it's in reverse like this this is just someone here who it really does not think before they speak they just you know could blurt something out um i had a moment like that a few years ago oh my god at work i'm not going to go into it because um you know reasons <laughs> workplace reasons and stuff but um i said something that really offended someone but it was not meant that way i was meant it was, it was not meant that way and um, so then like i started overthinking the situation and i was like i need to fix this you know so i was trying to be friendly and say something else to try and like um but it, but what i said actually came out wrong again and it was a whole thing like it was just awful but um i don't think uh, i don't think that i was ever forgiven for that even though it was a genuine mistake but um See, I'm a wee bit anxious, so sometimes um, I get like nervous if there's like a, a, a silence, you know, so you just fill it with blurting stuff out. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Uh, right, let's see. Oh, I've shuffled him back in, the Knight of Swords, in reverse. But it is what I was saying. This person just wants to um, send that message. To give up this resistance. But they feel like they would be uh, perhaps moving towards the unknown. Yeah, and look, there's the Two of Swords. It was in reverse, but the Two of Swords is uh, maybe not seeing something clearly here. Uh, this person may want to um, have an answer that they just can't have an answer uh, for. You know, nobody... You have to take that risk. All right, I want to look at feelings. Let's see. This person's feelings for you. Page of Pentacles, the Empress, the Nine of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. The Lovers is at the bottom of the deck. Lovers, Empress. There is an intense connection here. Uh, some of you feel like this is perhaps like a twin flame connection. The Empress can represent unconditional love. Um, so it is showing that this person, I'm reading feelings here, so they do have love for you. Um, nine of Cups, you know, um, wish fulfillment. Um, you are the person who like emotionally fulfills this person. Um, and they see a, a great potential here, but um, it would be 
something that you guys would need to work on um, in like a real slow and steady sort of way. Um, but this person does want to forget about um, an issue or something that happened between you both. They want to find some sort of peace and clarity, um, forgiveness perhaps. I mean, look at this lover's card. Oh, look, the five of five. Five of Cups is underneath this. Uh, sadness, regret, loss. There's someone crying on that card. Um, and the lover's card is very, very sad as well. Just like a raw sort of feeling. Ace of Wands in reverse. Nine of Wands in reverse. Ace of Swords in reverse. Seven of Cups in reverse. And the Hanged Man in reverse. So this person views or feels like you guys had a great potential, like I said, um, but that they did not take sufficient action or motivation towards this connection in order to grow the situation um, to the full potential that it could have been. Uh, this person feels like they really dropped the ball, that um, they gave up in, in a sense, and that uh, at some point here in the past they were maybe confused in a sense or not really expressing fully to you what you meant to them. I think they left you in a state of uh, confusion a lot of the time even though this person is telling me that they themselves are not confused about the situation. They've had a lot of time to think about this and um, it looks like this person has really dug into this from every possible angle um, and they cannot find peace uh, with it, how things are at this time. So this person's feeling sad but the sadness is linked to lost potential. Right, so I want to see what you're going to do. Let's see. I think this person's not brave enough, like, from that energy, or they're not feeling brave, but they want to be. Yeah, I just saw the Ten of Swords there. Okay, what's this person going to do? Uh, between now and the end of the year, Three of Cups, Ace of Wands, Two of Cups, Six of Wands, this is nice, and the Chariot. Wow! Do you know what's really cool about this? Um, these cards are very similar to the cards that I was uh, getting earlier in terms of what this person is like, wanting to do. You know that wee uh, fantasy I was talking about? So um, it could get to a stage here where this person will just... I need to clarify because the Tower's over here as well. Which I think would be a huge pivotal moment for this person and I think that this is a silence or a pause being broken. Um, yeah, it looks like action, so let me see. This person's uh, intending to reconcile with you in some sort of way. Uh, three of Cups can be meeting up, uh, Four of Wands. So this could be meeting up uh, like at a party or bumping into each other in some sort of way at like an event or something as well. So for some of you, it could specifically be a wedding because there's like a wedding uh, on this card. It could just be something to do with Christmas. The Four of Wands can be like house as well. Ace of Wands, the Empress. Okay, so that, um, I think that might have come out earlier, was it? Uh, that card, those cards can sometimes indicate like um, pregnancy. <laughs> so <laughs> Six of Swords coming out again. Five of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. So what this person intends to do is they do intend to show up. Uh, this person could travel towards you. Look, there's the char Chariot with the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. He's holding that pentacle and there it is. This person does intend to show up to you. Um, for some of you, it'll be to your house or your home. For some of you, it could be at a party or a work event or something like that. Um, this person's intention is to have a passionate new beginning with you and um, with the person that they have feelings for and to uh, promote some sort of growth but maybe this time in the realm of like pentacles um, yeah look the emperor's underneath there so we have the emperor and the empress with the ace of pentacles in between which is very exciting because the four of wands is also there <laughs> so for some of you this is uh, again you feel like this is like a twin flame connection or something like that i'm going to put these two together i'm going to put them over here because why not um, this person here wants to uh, again move on from this issue, re reconcile with you, uh, maybe express some sort of feelings uh, to you, overcome the, the sadness, overcome this loss that you were experiencing with each other um, and move forward in like a, a direction that you're both in agreement with. So uh, this is very positive. 
very very positive this person is sort of afraid um but that's what's holding them back uh, and once they sort of like they're just gonna do it it's gonna be very quick it's gonna be very unexpected uh, this person's just gonna do it um, so I wouldn't be surprised if the message that you get from this person um, is a wee bit confusing or something like that or just small um, at the beginning but um, it's sort of breaking the ice and it's like a big step uh, chewing is a big step for this person so I'm going to take some of uh, those Scrabble tiles um, and again I'm not great with Scrabble so I'll just call them out to you Right, we have O, U, or I, another O, we have N, B, Z, we have P, we have O, we have F, and we have M. One second. Hello, Ron. Okay, I made the name Ron, and I'm not going to admit how long I was actually there trying to find one name. I only managed one, but... Um, yes, so that is what I'm seeing. I hope that that has helped. Thank you all very, very much, and I hope you all have lovely days. Thank you. Bye-bye.